I'm going to be telling the story of many, many years to come. Everything happens for a reason. The opportunity of meeting the Pope is because I was blessed enough to be a Catholic Charities resident. I enjoyed the last minute, down to that, even the people that were screaming and jumping up on seats and everything. I didn't blame them. The reason I didn't blame them, I said, this is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm about to take advantage of it. And this lady said, I sure wish my children could shake the hand of the Pope. I said, they will. She said, how do you know they're going to shake the hand of the Pope? I says, because he just loved children like that. She said, you sure? I says, yeah. As Soon as he came out, we were the first ones when he came out of the grand opening in the front. And he shook the hand of one of the kids and shook the hand of the mother, shook the hand of the other kid, and I pulled my hand out. <laughs> and he shook my hand and he smiled at me. It was just amazing. He walked right up to us. He placed his hand on top of mine smiled, leaned in, kissed Rebecca on the head. He smiled again, she smiled at him, and right as he touched my hand, I just felt at peace. People were jumping up on the seats and everybody was laughing and crying and glad, really happy and all of that, and I was happy with myself. It's given me more of an awareness and empowerment that anything can happen, anything can be accomplished and not to let any obstacles hold us back. When all has been said and done, there's nothing else to say or do but to say thank you, thank you, thank you. It's amazing. I can't wait to see what the future holds. I'm gonna be telling the story of many, many years to come, and when I get old, I'm gonna say, yeah. Yeah, I shook the hand of the Pope.